Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, we got to jump right back into this, but funny, quick little story. I, I called my wife because she wasn't uh, upstairs when I when we went on the break. And she was saying that while she was driving by, she was literally just driving by a place where there's construction. And she was like scratching her face or something like that. And a cop screamed at her, get off your phone. And she's like, I'm not on my phone. I'm just scratching my face. But like apparently like took like a step or two towards the car, and like screamed at her as she was driving by because she was literally scratching her face. I was like, Oh yeah, that's fun. Good. No, he failed his perception check. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, friendly, <laughs> very friendly. All right, moving on. So, um, uh, uh you guys, uh, the, the other group goes to Khargwen. So, um, that is, uh, Ilan, uh, Nathan and uh guinevere and e-dog e-dog elliot yeah oh elliot and, oh, yes. and ravina and ravina but trust with manacles and if, at ravina let's just say she's not doing well today um uh she when you go to check her out in the morning because obviously you guys went the, the next day like you did the, the conversation night before um, and then the next day when you leave to go down there at Ravina, she's not doing well. Actually, she just seems very much not like herself. She's not as talkative. She's not as lucid as she usually is. She's just not, not herself at the moment. Um, she's looking kind of meek, you know, uh, she's not doing well. Um, someone's endurance w wouldn't, uh, help them escape manacles in any way, right? <laughs> What do you mean? I'm thinking of hell helping boost her endurance to to don't 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 do that. Yeah, don't don't aid the Don't don't yeah, don't do that. Let her be yeah. sickly. We're going to get her fixed. Let's not <laughs> Illa just wants to help, but he can't. Let's not help her right now. Yeah. So um she uh she's just like she literally uh, she collected from the cell. Please just let me go. Let me turn myself in. It's... It's better than this. It's better than this. Let me turn myself in. No. We, can, we can fix this. Put the trust in. Oh my god. He's like, ball gag, please? Um, so... <laughs> like, like, surgical prison. Ball gag, please. Moving on. Um, so you guys... We should you, hurry. Yeah, you, so he you, goes to the others. We should hurry. You take her. So it doesn't look like she has any necessarily... Doesn't look... She just looks weak, sick, out of it. Yeah, no, but she, she's in, she's in pain. Delusion. She's in... It's not... What she's going through is not pleasant. We should hurry. Yeah. So you get her and you, you go through the portal and come through the other side. And um, uh, when you do come through the other side, obviously... I would, I would actually... After we get through, I would ask her. Oh, I know. We're just going through the portal and we're there. We're not like traveling. Correct. You just immediately never... in hug when. Actually, just for shit's sake, I'll ask her if she's willing for, for me to cast a spell on her. Is she willing to have you cast a spell on her? She says, yep. is it going to let me get. Is it going to let me turn myself in? No, but it's not going to stop you either. I don't care. Alright, I cast... Scent Trail on her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I came back and Will's smelling, ladies? Yes, yeah. Nope. Her hair is so beautiful. Beautiful oh smelling. My God. He just wants to carry that scent with her. <laughs> and I target the people being everyone that's transporting her. If she were to escape and run away, we'd be able to follow the trail. It's one smelly lady. Um, so you guys are, uh, uh, you put scent trail on her. And so you're going to be able to find her much more easily if she tries to get away. Um, anyways, you uh, leave with her and head directly to? The uh, uh, hospital place. Okay. Um, uh, when you go to head directly there um, uh, to the hospital place, 
you do have, uh, you bring in bushels of this uh, medicine with you and you have her with you, so on and so forth. Uh, as soon as the, the door opens, like as soon as you go in there, one of the first things Guinevere says is, um, I'm not really a, uh, too much of a part of this thing. Um, I'm going to immediately help them with uh, the medicinal part. Make sure that we can uh, make that into the, what we need. It's a good idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm not super familiar with um, the supplies that they have here, but, uh, you know, the, the Mycin did say that they know their way about the herb, so uh, I'll see if I can lend some degree of aid. And she kind of goes off again, This, this even though it's an old building that's been kind of, um, there's multiple floors as we discussed beforehand, right? Susie so Yawn. She goes across the room and starts, like, talking to people and helping them out, and you can see them... But, like, she's still within sight as she's talking to people and kind of, like, you know, uh, working on stuff or whatever over there. Obviously, um, one of the um, uh, sleeping uh, people come up and um, uh, uh, to you guys and says, how may, how may we be of assistance? What seems to afflict this bound woman? She has a curse put on her, I guess, if you know what that is. Um, why am I being at, why am I being added? I can't bear to see you like this. Snaps fingers. The big bag, please. I don't know. What? Anyway. Hi. Oh, I'm confused. I don't know why I was anyway. being added. But okay, cool. Um, yeah, I, I would be saying, like, uh, she, she's being afflicted with a curse, a gears, uh, compulsion. Uh, every day that she does not um, submit herself, uh, she's going to say as much. She's asking to be turned in. She's going to know that much, at least. Um, she grows w worse. We were wondering if you could help. Did you say the word Gias? My apologies. Uh, I would have, yes. Okay. I'm not familiar with what a, a Gias is, but this affliction that you're referring to, do you know the cure? Uh, I was unable to dispel the magic. Um, I, I believe it is a curse. It's a curse of sorts, yes. Ah, a curse. That makes sense, considering the what you described. Um, let me see if I can find somebody that has the ability to remove a curse. Um, if we don't have someone with that ability here and in the in the the uh, hospital, we can reach outwards. There are a few worshippers of of uh, the martyr and the like that might be within within the city that might have that ability. Please do, thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'll like gesture over to the herbs, and we've uh, brought uh, herbs from uh, I don't know his name, the Mycin. <laughs> um, uh, yes, um, uh, wonderful. We're, like, we're familiar with the herb. The number of this is incredible. It seems as though the Mycin has been keeping busy. I'm glad to see his <laughs> crops just gonna look fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying it? He's looking toward Nathan's leaf. Nathan's not doesn't want to take credit. We'll just leave it where it is. <laughs> um, he Nathan wouldn't take credit, but Nathan would say, "Are you growing any herb yourself?" Oh, I'm so sorry. Somebody's asking, "Is one E different from five E?" There's a confusion there. This is Pathfinder First Edition versus Pathfinder Second Edition. You're referring to uh, Brad Clapp's D &D. Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Pathfinder 1E is very similar to Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. They're almost the same thing. Pathfinder just has fixed a lot of the, the bugs um, in 3.5 <laughs> and expanded on it uh, immensely. 4th uh, edition is a garbage pile that needs to be burned and oh, erased through history. And 5th edition is a very, very different version. Um, uh, it's more or less a simplified first edition of Dungeons and Dragons. Again, they're so different from one another, with the exception of a few basic details like attributes and whatnot. I'm so sorry. Back to the RP. Um, so yeah, she said that thing, and you you looked to Nathan. Nathan's response was, "I asked if they had any herb growing themselves." Uh, we we have a very small uh, amount of herb here, but all of it gets supplied by mycin. Um, Actually, we don't have any at the moment until you brought this, because it was used after, well, you were a part of the battle. Um, he <sighs> nods to that and says, well, there there should be plenty more to come in the day's uh, future. Uh, 
but for now, I hope this helps. This amount of herb, I we might even be able to come up with some sort of um, uh, inoculation you can give someone before battle. We actually, for the first oh, wow. time ever, have enough that we can't just treat wounds uh, or even be selective with our treating, but experiment. Uh, he'll nod to that and say, well, do what you will with it. Just help as many as possible. And um, uh, she will, of course, take the, the bushels of stuff and go on uh, or have other people take the bushels of stuff or whatever and um, uh, go off to try to find someone that has the ability to remove the uh, the curse. And so, in fact, um, uh, a different person would come over a few minutes later and offer to try to uh, lift this curse off of um, um, uh, the geese. And so they are um, uh, they come over and say, this is not to be clear. This is not the um, the slumbering queen herself. This is just another one of her her uh, agents, and they'll come over and say, um, uh, "Hello there." I'm. I understand that this woman here suffers an affliction where um, she is cursed, unfortunately. Uh, yes. Um, a a, a gas, if you know what that is, a, a type of compulsion. I'm familiar enough, but the question, uh, sorry, the concern is. I do not actually have the uh, magics to remove a curse, but we do have uh, medicinal means to uh, help to remove a curse, if you know what I mean by this. Uh, would I know what <laughs> he means by this? It's something to uh, help. It's something to help uh, give, give somebody an opportunity to potentially break the curse themselves oh. with their own. Okay. Uh, or anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated. Um, I, I, I will do what I can. Um, and then she stops for a moment and then looks back and says, unless, of course, your opinion has changed. Well, uh, sorry, I, I, uh, this is out of character. Sorry, but I missed that my brain clicked off for Unless, a second. Unless, of course, your opinion has changed. Elliot would ask, what opinion? She'd say, well, um, last time a Chosen was here, there was uh, uh, Rayrin, I think is his name. Um, whatever uh, titles you choose to put to yourselves, I, I think Rayrin was the name of the man. Um, he seems to be none too fond of the one person we do have on hands that knows the spell that could actually break this. I am willing to have him do it, if you're willing to have it done. Uh, Nathan would nod and say, I don't see why we wouldn't be willing. And he looks at Elliot with like a raised eyebrow. Um, uh, Elliot You says, said the two people who know like so little about yep. to go handle this, so they're just like, yeah, if they, don't, if they mean, hate each other, screw it. It, it, it. I mean, in part, that's actually really good because we have no bias. No one, really. everyone saves so. space. No one bends or buckles. Everyone yeah, gets better. It's, it's, it's no preconceived but, idea. But also, we don't know who to trust and who not to trust in the sense of, oh, you're going to help us? Sure. Um, um, uh, she says, we don't like using former names. It's not something we typically do. But as an extenuating circumstance, to make things simple, uh, there's a man here that used to go by the name of Xander Zane. He has such magics. Could you point okay. us in his direction? <laughs> um, he's upstairs helping the uh, more grievous... Sorry, the um, he's upstairs currently helping the uh, lesser wounded. I think if they can uh, get rid of this, it's worth talking to them. Okay. Um, she nods and she'll uh, guide you uh, upstairs, this other person. Um, yeah, and could you and point every point like sentence we like look at Elliot like is this okay? Is this okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, Elliot's just like so. As you guys are walking, Elliot will even straight up say, "I don't understand why they would think that we had an issue with Xander. He actually did an incredible thing for our army before. I mean, he was gifted a very um, strange reward, oh, boy. Considering, but he he Elliot um Elliot sorry Xander was uh a boon 
to us in the past? Um, he would say to Elliot, well, Elliot, you know, there's three sides to every story. He will not <laughs> refute that. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> Uh, and so, um, I mean, right, there's uh, their side, their side of the fa and facts, right? Yep. His truth, her truth, and the facts. So, yep. Um, so you, uh, you uh, go upstairs to, again, down here is where the more critically wounded people are because you kind of get them in and immediately start treating them. Uh, upstairs is going to be where the people that are kind of doing better and you can kind of remove them from this floor and get them up there because they can actually get up and downstairs relatively easily. And the mm -hmm. third floor is where her bed was before where, um, what's his name? Kind of like an attic, right? where um, uh, Rayrin had visited Xander before. So anyways, uh, Xander is upstairs. You do see the man kind of like walking around and, and uh, healing people up. I mean, he seems like a, a rather jovial sort, uh, uh, Xander is. And um, one of the things that you notice about him is as he's over there having a conversation with people and laughing and joking, um, he, he at one point in time, literally a small, cute little blue bird flies through a window and lands on his shoulder. Um, and he, you know, takes the bird and, you know, like is pointing at it and talking about it with the person <laughs> and brings the conversation down to eventually the wounds or whatever that the person has and, you know, nodding or whatever. And actually goes down and you can see that, um, at one point the, the, um, um, he kind of like bends down to go treat it. And as he does, so you can see like the bird kind of, uh, has a moment where it, it glows and you can see that Xander's eyes glow blue. And then he reaches down and he touches uh, the person's wound. And you can see the person like uh, starts to bend it. And he's like, yeah, it is a lot better. And he's like, and he, you know, kind of finishing up the conversation, gives him a clasp on the shoulder. And, and he's like, I honestly think that you're only staying here for the women. So perhaps you should, you what, know, make what your happens way back to the bird? The, city. the bird, it just continued tweets a little bit more and stays okay. on his hand. Mm hmm. Okay, and uh, after that, he can. We would have. He would usually. Yeah, he perfect. probably would have just gone to another person, but you threw four, four, four. Do stand out. One of them he knows, and um, <laughs> uh, clearly you're trying to get his attention, and so he gives it to you. He turns to you and says, um, "Welcome. Uh, how 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 do you do, Elliot? And Elliot. Oh, sorry, I'm just realizing I'm talking to myself. He's like, yep. uh, "Welcome. H how are you doing, Elliot?" And um, Elliot's like, I'm well, thank you. And he actually will kind of take this half step forward. And he's like, and how about the, I'm, I'm well, thank you. And so overall, you're still, I am well, thank you. <laughs> oh, fucking okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, and so he kind of like let, lets it go with that one. And he's I would like, interrupt then. I would just be like, the issue is she is not with Ravina. He looks at her and he looks at Ravina and unfortunately, almost immediately when looking at Ravina, I need to click this button over here. Sorry, I'm at a different campaign. I need to click something really quickly. Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh dear. What? Hold on. Huh? Oh, you, you don't Yeah, You don't know what's happening here. We do. <laughs> um, oh, what was wow. that? Oh wow! What was that? Wow! I I rolled a I rolled a natty. Oh god! So uh, um, so uh, he looks at Ravina, and there's um, some more than intuition going on, is what I'll say. Oh, you have no idea what that is. I saw that over there. I know what that is. Don't worry about that. So he looks at Ravina, what? and all of a sudden he's just like, "Oh, God, the guilt. There's so much guilt. What have you done?" Oh, and he actually takes like a, 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 a takes a step backwards, and he stumbles over whatever's like behind like a bed or whatever it is, and literally kind of falls down and like flops into the bed. And you can see like whatever degree of control that he had before that allowed him to kind of like drown out the noise around him. He almost completely succumbs. Oh, the daddy one. He almost completely succumb. Like he completely succumbs to, and immediately he starts like looking around, and no longer he's not only is he feeling the guilt. Of, of Ravina, but he also seems to be feeling a whole lot around him, including the immediate raising concerns and maybe even a degree of ire of the, your characters. You're like, what the hell is going on right here? And it's like, oh God, oh God. He would it just get concerned oh from Ilan. Um, and, and he starts like looking around and, oh, oh, uh, are, you, I need, are you okay? I Should need, we get someone? I need to go upstairs, upstairs. 
I would help him go upstairs. I would immediately, I would do anything that I can to help him at this point. You can see one of the girls was starting to come over to lend an assistance, one of the other uh, of the cult, but you help him up and they give like a look. And I imagine you just give her a look like, I got this, I guess. <laughs> and and, uh, and you can lead him to like the stairwell. And again, you go up the stairs, you imagine old Victorian home, right? And it's like a converted attic space that happens to be like where her bedroom is. You, you get him up the stairs and he kind of like, uh, he's, like, oh, he's like half pointing over to direction. When you bring him over there, he, he reaches out and kind of like clumsily knocks stuff over or whatever as he grabs for a whiskey bottle and pops it open and immediately just starts like, like taking swigs of whiskey. Uh oh, uh, I can I help in some way? I have healing magics. Uh, he's, uh, oh, no, 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 hold on. <gasps> It, it takes another couple of swigs of whiskey and it like slumps on the ground. He needs to and, be not of the right mind. Uh, no. uh, and he slumps on the Ooh. ground and, and just kind of sits there for, uh, I don't know if your characters are saying or doing anything, but for another minute as he kind of like starts to get control <laughs> of terrified. I would, I would look at Elliot and say like, I know she doesn't look too great right now, but she's not that ugly. Um, so hey, Mitch, I'll have you know, she's I... extremely beautiful. Described uh, as such by Scott. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he he mentioned guilt. I wonder if whatever curse is affecting her spread to him somehow. Um, Ravina is just kind of like, now look what I'm doing to other people. You should just let me go. <laughs> e Elliot actually says, um, I actually do understand what's happening here. He has an huh? affliction himself. Um, we were able to surmise this before. Um, he can feel the feelings of people around him and being stuck in a very densely populated place like Hod Gwen and you can imagine the horrors that are constantly going on on top of just the difficult life of people that live here on top of whatever's afflicting her on top of the emotions that come to mind when I see him on top of everything else it's probably a lot. He has a way of dealing with the issue that probably isn't the healthiest, but we all choose to win our battles our own ways. Uh, I would nod at that and just be like, okay, so uh, until he gets shmammered. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, I, there's nothing I can do to sort of help, just sort of. He'll out. Uh, pull out his water skin and <laughs> just start uh, drinking from it. You drink too? Alcohol. That's hilarious. <laughs> so it's one of, the, one of those funny <laughs> things where actually it, it has, it, I don't know if um, uh, Elliot honestly could use a drink right now too, considering what just, who, like, what he's remembering seeing this. Uh, Ravina also wouldn't mind a drink right now. Um, uh, I don't know, Ilan, <laughs> does Ilan partake? Uh, Ilan, if, if there's drinks going around, Ilan would drink 100%. So he's, Ilan drinks a little too much at the moment. <laughs> he uses the uh, alcohol to quell his own curse or affliction or whatever he has to make him feel the emotions of others. But beyond that, we've, I assume, pretty much everybody in chat and on this call has partaken in social drinking before, and it's actually a, a nice thing to be in. So when he is sitting there and having a panic attack and people's reaction to a panic attack is, don't worry, brother, I'll have a drink with you. It genuinely is heartwarming enough that, you know, I, I imagine even some of you, especially the Druid, even just pulls up some carpet next to him. You know what I mean? And just gets down in his level. It actually calms him down considerably. Ooh. You, you get him relaxed and, and happy. And after a few minutes of talking, maybe another 20 minutes or so pass of getting him truly calmed down, he, you, you get him to the point where he's both able and willing to remove the curse from uh, uh, from her. I just Ooh. need to double check one thing really quickly. Uh, I don't think he has to make any rolls either. I'm just reading uh, both rules from both spells. Uh, remove cur if, oh no. Um, oh no. Oh no. So oh. he does, he does go to cast remove curse. Uh, onto the spell. But unfortunately, 
the spell does not break. Are you I, fucking? What? Oh my god! I have to roll another check. Oh, oh no! Can we, can, we, can we luck his check? Um, I sure you can go ahead and do so. I'm no, rolling no, a spell. Scott, can Daddy's dice it though? Um, uh, I can tell you that he rolled a thirty. Actually, it's going to be a thirty-two. So, I'm not gonna luck his check. I'm off that. <laughs> oh, oh god! Right? Well, no, <laughs> fucking hell! Level spell, so it might be worth giving it a little. All like, right. Little okay, you know what? Give it as much as it can. Yeah. Well, I'm, little I'm, juice. I'm, 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 don't subtract that one because this is a skill check, not a, uh, not a cash level check. He says. Oh, okay. Uh, unfor Wait, unfortunately, yeah. Don't, don't that? subtract it. Yeah, don't subtract it. Okay. Unfortunately, this is a Gius spell. The only way that a curse. Uh, a spell like I am familiar with, remove curse, could be used to lift a Gius spell, is if my uh, understanding of magic, if my personal power, is greater than the power of the person who originally placed it on uh, the the afflicted. Unfortunately, I don't have that degree of power. You're going to need something stronger, perhaps could a, perhaps something that can break the enchantment. Could you tell us how long this Gius would last? Until... Until it's resolved, if it's a... If it's a proper Gius, um, I, I guess at worst, um, uh, maybe two weeks, uh, maybe three weeks, but potentially until it's fully done. If there was a greater version of it being used, or if there was a permanent effect placed over it, Unfortunately, I don't have access to the kind of magic that you would need to break an enchantment. Do you know anyone so, who would? Magic like that is immensely powerful. Potentially, the Slumbering Queen herself would. She hasn't been around the hospital as of late. She's, of course, on the council and so has been handling a lot of those duties. I'll nod to that. I guess we'll have to kiss. take court with the slumbering queen. He looks at Elliot for True loves kiss affirmation. Really. Is there perhaps a chance that uh, your people would be able to uh, to ease her suffering because she does appear to be suffering? Uh, keep her un, un, unconscious so until we can find a solution because every... It, as you saw before, it seems like she's not doing well. We will, of course, do what we can to alleviate her pain, just as we do everybody else in this hospital, and keep her bound. If that's what's necessary to do, we're going to uh, help our friends as much as we can. But also, unfortunately, it is 11.35 a.m. on the East Coast, and <laughs> I have uh, work in 35 minutes and have a 25-minute drive to so get there. Fast and have to uh, get ready between now and then. So we have to do a hard and fast out. So speaking of hard and fast, Neil. Hi, I'm Neil or at Nagkite. You can find me on Discord at Nagkite. Join it below on twitch.tv forward slash Olirant at Nagkite or on Twitter at Nagkite underscore. Why would you go to twitch.tv forward slash Jolly Rant? I don't know. No, for 5e content, <laughs> d and I am there. <laughs> I play a cleric. I play uh, a cleric of life who is very different from Raerin, as you might guess. He doesn't fraternize <laughs> with devils. Or one. Um, I will. Uh, I also made an announcement in a second that I said it earlier, but for those of you that were here earlier, I'll just say it again. Um, Tesh, sir? Hi, I'm Tesh of The Tesh Tube on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, you should follow me on Twitter to keep up to date to all the things I'm doing and lots of cute animal gifts and TikToks because I'm spamming my Twitter with those. Uh, and follow my Twitch for uh, RPG content of varying things from shooter looter to full blown RPG. Beautiful. Uh, Will, uh, you recently posted a video. I don't know if you wanted to. If you I, I, I did. Um... Basically, I'm getting back onto the YouTube content creation. So weekly videos are going to be coming at you guys from my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash by the way. I'll send a link to the chat um, where basically I'm just uh, showing you guys what it's like to live my life and to join me on my weight loss journey. Um, I kind of let my weight get out of hand lately and I really need to get back on it. So 
I'm just kind of getting healthy, which is important for everyone. You're over 100 subs. Can't you get the unique URL of, by the way? I do have that. Oh, okay. Just because it said channel. I just, slash... yeah, um, I just copied it. Does, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Uh, you have and, to, it, YouTube's weird. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Jake? Yeah, you can find me here or in the Discord. Uh, that's me. Stirring the pot in the Discord. All right. And then for those of you that were, didn't hear the announcement earlier, um, uh, this is a part of the Aurorum world, my homebrew world. This is the flagship and first show in the world. There are two others. There's also Regicide, which is a 5e campaign, and Thronekeeper, which is a Fantasy Age campaign. There's a very good chance that starting on Monday nights at 9 p.m. EST, sometime in the very near future, we're going to be starting a fourth Aurorum campaign. As a reminder, all of these campaigns do interweave with one another's stories, as well as being their own independent stories. They do impact one another uh, indirectly and sometimes directly. I think think you'll like the plot of the new campaign. Um, I think you'll like it quite a bit. We'll see um, uh, if that goes 100% into motion. It's pretty much there. I just want to guarantee the last couple of details before I, I uh, officially announce it and whatnot. Um, uh, but I already have a cast and whatnot for it. Um, just like I said, solidifying a few details. Uh, anyways, I'm super excited to bring that to you. Uh, another perspective of the world. And um, thank you everybody so much. I really get to find people who stream right now so I can do a quick raid of them, but I don't, and I don't get time at the moment. I'm sorry for the Twitch community. would love to raid you, but I really <laughs> gotta go to work. Goodbye, everybody. Love to raid you, Dave.